Awesome. Well, I'm so excited to see everyone here in person and to everyone online. Thank you for joining. Today we are going to explore the California Energy Commission's Model Mandatory Low-Rise Residential Solar PV Ordinance. Try saying that five times fast. Um, and all the resources that we have regionally to help our jurisdictions adopt that ordinance and be on the pathway to residential zero net energy. My name is Rachel Long. for the County of San Mateo. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Chow. I also work with Rachel with the County of San Mateo Sustainability Office. We're both here from the Bay Area Regional Energy Network, the Bay Run. The Bay Run is a collaboration of the nine Bay Area County local government. Uh, we depend on the local government staff and our experience to work on energy efficiency program at a regional level. I do want to call upon my Baron counterpart for our other counties to show them that they are here. And so in case you don't know your local Baron representative, you can meet them today. So if you guys don't mind standing up, I know a few of you are here. Thank you. So Carolyn is here from Sonoma County, so you can reach out to her today, and Kellen from um, Marin County. And so uh, we are one of two regional energy networks in the state, and our funding comes from the CPUC. So we have four main program areas. Our single family and multifamily programs focus on residential rebates for energy efficiency upgrades. We also have a financing program such as pay as you stay for water efficiency and commercial pace. And then the program that brings us here today is our codes and standards program. Our codes and standards program focuses on working with local governments to increase com compliance with the energy code. And we have three main approaches to working on codes and standards within our local Bay Area jurisdictions. We look at, we look at evaluating our processes within local governments and really engaging with the bu building departments to determine how we can improve compliance. We have trainings that we offer to local governments at no cost that focus on different measures of the energy code and uh, best practices that we can share. And then we all also have a policy focus where we look to develop tools and resources to share across the Bay Area. And also that's kind of the focus of these regional forums to share those tools and resources in this format. This slide captures what Bay Run offerings we have related to zero net energy. We wanted to highlight three for you here today First, we do have a training focused on zero net energies that is based on, like, catered to the building professionals. So we have a 60 to 90 minute training. We also have template language that we developed through the Bayron. It's focused on RFP and OPR language for municipal staff who would like to incorporate that into uh, an RFP or OPR for their municipal building. So that is available to you as well. And then finally, we have a technical assistance program. So if you are a municipal staff person looking to understand if, you're, if there's viability, feasibility, cost effectiveness, or um, find some analysis for zero net energy for your potential project, this program might be for you. And with that, I'll turn it back to Rachel. So now that you've gotten to know the Bay Ren and us a little bit better, I'd like to take this opportunity for you all to learn who's at your table. If you could just take five minutes to introduce yourselves and maybe share something that you're interested in learning today or what expectations you have. And we'll go around the room and, and share out after. So make sure you think of something great. So five minutes or so. <laughs>
we're just doing this on webinar. Oh, we are? No. So are we going to have to, are they going to see the data before we start? Yeah. I can. the mic All right. Do we have some good ideas flowing about what we're interested in learning about and anyone really eager to share? Something they're hoping to learn today or bring back to their local government? Can you hear me now? Yeah, if you want to introduce yourself. I'm Jeffrey Smith. and I uh, run the solar energy program for the Center for Climate Protection in Santa Rosa, California, Sonoma County. Um, I'm joined by two colleagues who work in Santa Rosa and um, a consultant here and also uh, the re resource uh, Regional Climate Protection Authority, which is unique in the country, I believe, in terms of setting policy. And a gentleman I just met who works with PlaceWorks. Um, for my part, uh, the city of Sebastopol is, is one of the first um, has one of the first mandatory solar ordinances in the country, I think. And so uh, it has a reputation for being very progressive and le uh, cutting edge, um, possibly liberal <laughs> on the spectrum. Uh, we want to know, I would like to know how we can replicate the model there to the other eight cities within the county. And also how uh, the Energy Commission's draft policy relates to Senator Weiner's proposed legislation in the state legislature. Um, so we, we want to know the details, the nitty gritty, how, how is it scalable, and how, going from policy to implementation, how do we get the building officials to embrace it and implement it? And some of those, those details is what we hope to gain from this. You're in luck. Yeah, we have two other cities who have adopted um, the CDC's model ordinance, so you'll get to hear about their implementation. Yeah, anyone else? Maybe you met someone really exciting at your table that you want to introduce? No, we haven't had our coffee yet. That's okay, I'll let you guys slide. I did want to introduce someone. Um, one of the legislative aides for our supervisor in San Mateo County is here, Supervisor Pines aide Michael Barber. Um, so we're excited to have our elected officials showing up and really valuing the um, energy work we're doing in San Mateo County and in the Bay Run. So thanks, Michael, for coming. So here's our action-packed agenda. As you see, we kind of start off with the statewide utility goal for zero net energy and reach codes and Title 24 energy code. And then we hammer into the cities to see how they've adopted reach codes and how 
there moving forward with these advanced energy policies. Um, after that, we'll learn about some regional resources available to adopt the model ordinances and to incentivize residential solar. Um, and then we'll have a panel, so please save all your questions for the end and you can um, ask during the panel discussion. So as I mentioned, today's goals are to learn about the CEC's model ordinances and all the resources available to you. You'll have a lot of time to ask questions and network with the different policy leaders that are here, so really take advantage of that. Um, today we have an exciting panel of speakers and something that you know I was noticing as we were reaching out to all these people is that they're all women. Um, and it, to me this is, is so amazing to have so many brilliant women at the table as we're discussing advanced energy policies that are on the table. And so this wasn't intentional, but it's something that I really hope we can celebrate and you know, it's a continuing trend in our field. And I'll introduce each one before they present so you can soak it in. And then all the presentations will be available online after and we'll send an email to you so you can send them out to colleagues that may have missed today's event or if you want to review them. 